This is my trash bucket <laughs> that I'm getting here. I need to do a little watering this afternoon. I can see a couple of guys getting a little thirsty. But Henry's been eating a couple of radishes a day for several weeks and a whole bunch like this. There's one or two in here that are a bit bigger. But he had one this size the other day and he was fine. So I'm hoping they'll all still be great. Let's see if this one looks good. Nope. That's what. Okay. I have here radishes. No, not radishes. <laughs> I have their radishes. I have here beets. I am going to harvest some of these because they're getting big. And I've had sort of mixed results with beets. Um, I am not a beet aficionado. Henry is. We'll see a pattern here. There are certain things he likes that I don't. I still have no problems growing them because he really enjoys them. Um, I grew some golden beets here because they are less beety. <laughs> Anyone who's not a beet fan knows what I'm talking about. Now, I don't know how well these turned out. I have not had great luck in the beet department for the last couple of years, so we'll see. Uh... I may save some of this beet tops. I think Henry likes beet tops. I will eat beet tops. They are not my favorite. Some of these are very nice looking leaves. So I think what I'm going to do is sort the leaves for quality. And any quality ones I will put aside. And they can become beet greens. And any non-quality ones become compost. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There's one beat. There's another one. Yeah. I always get to feel like they didn't grow quite as fast as they should have, or I don't know, something. I used to have pretty good luck in the yard. And we lost them too many times in a row to rodents, so I kind of gave up on that. And Henry's always telling me not to grow things that I won't eat. Well, uh, there's just some things I don't like. And we're trying to find some other things that are more acceptable. Like, I'm not a big beet fan, big beet green fan, but I've eaten these greens before and they're pretty darn good. I'll save just the babies, not the big honking ones. I don't, if it were an end of days survival situation, I can eat just about anything. <laughs> but it's not. So the point of, to me, of growing fresh vegetables in my own environment is to be able to grow the, the finest quality, basically. So... I don't see a point in eating something I really don't like. Especially if I have a husband who's willing to eat it and not think of it as, you know, something awful. Let's see. Hmm. This is interesting. Some of these just didn't grow right. I tried to space them out. Tried to water them well. I gave them fertilizer. And yet the sizes on them are still not impressive. So I don't know. I won't pretend to be a beet grower. Um, this is the size they sell them in the grocery store. But yet I read and it says it's supposed to be bigger than that. So I don't know. Uh, maybe they sell them in the grocery store because people, I mean, like them better that way. Or maybe it's a faster turnover. I mean, you know, when you're when you're running vegetables in a field, it's always a toss-up between size and turnover and things like that because your your space is worth money. So I don't know. 
I'm going to yank a few of these out of here anyway. A couple came. I don't know whether the seeds were stuck together or what. A couple of these are just not going to be quality. Looks like the greens will be great. But I think we're going to get more greens out of these than we did uh, beets. But I have had these before, and everything's better with bacon, so if I cook them with bacon, they'll definitely be good. <laughs> I guess my problem is I, 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 there's a lot of things that people eat down south where they're like, well, if you add bacon to it, and I'm like, if you add enough bacon, all you're eating is bacon, and I don't like to um, have to rely on bacon to cover up the flavor of something I don't like. I do like bacon a lot. But, you know, <laughs> if I want to eat bacon, I don't have a problem with saying I want to eat bacon. I don't have to make believe I'm eating vegetables in order to be allowed to eat bacon. <laughs> okay, I am getting some really nice babies. Oh, there goes the fan. <laughs> Got too warm. It's particularly sunny today, which is kind of nice be good for solar we're way warmer than we should be I'm not complaining because it means I don't have to spend any fuel on heating but it does mean we still have bugs in the yard which means some of our summer birds are still here because we still have flycatchers which is kind of bizarre in December to have flycatchers here normally they are long gone by now So I think I'm going to think of this as a beet green harvest rather than a beet harvest. We do have several nice beets down there. But I think the greatest quantity of stuff here is going to be out of the greens. I guess that's not a total loss. It was an experiment. I did space them the way I was told to. Still didn't work. Pull <laughs> that well. I mean, it worked, but it didn't. I'll have to think about what I'm going to put in here next. Uh, beets are in the amaranth family. I need to plant a bucket of you know, spinach, kohlrabi, or something else. Pak choy. Spinach, kohlrabi, and pak choy. Yeah, that's what I need. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> uh, uh, Radishes that I just took out, those are in the those are in the cabbage family. So I think there's probably enough golden beets here that we could roast them in the oven. And then have oops just dropped a piece of green, and then have greens to, I need to start picking salads because I've got too much lettuce, <laughs> I know, a problem, too much lettuce, uh, it's not too much in the sense of it's bad or something, it, I don't want it to get too big, I want it to uh, be picked while it's little. I'm going to do some research on these beets and see if I can figure out what the world says is wrong with them. <laughs> I don't know what the answer to that is. I haven't. I'm trying to think. I did grow beets. Did I grow beets last year? I don't think I grew beets last year. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. I can check my records. Um... I haven't grown beets lately, because has anybody said, well, I'm the only one who eats them? I'm like, yes, and that's okay. You're allowed to have your favorite foods. I used to buy, I still do buy them beets in the, in the grocery store sometimes when they have really nice looking ones. My response to these is going to be, these are beet greens. So I'm just going to get rid of this, at least the, all the golden ones here, and we're going to have beet greens. <laughs> I have become a very successful carrot grower. I'm happy with that. 
and my brassicas are doing great. I have very nice beet greens here. These small ones look like they'll be very tasty. Chop them up and I'll put some bacon in them. Because <laughs> then I'll think they're good too. <laughs> the nice thing is I am getting completely blemish free, beautiful beet greens here. These should be really nice. Really nice. Okay, one more little golden bead over here. And these are touchstone gold. The other side of this pot is red ace. I'm not gonna save the greens off these. They're okay. But I think today is going to be clean out day. <laughs> and since this was amaranth, I can plant maybe carrots are in the same plant as the same family as parsnips. Yeah, I'm going to have to look up a couple things. Don't want to screw this up. <laughs> These are little guys. Some of them look pretty nice. I always love the, the red on the hands. Characteristic of beets. Definitely. Got one really nice looking one here. I was hoping that's the way they would all grow. But for whatever reason, they didn't. I'll be doing some reading. <laughs> I don't like to have a vegetable beat me. <laughs> okay, now that is a plant. I am guessing, and this is just a guess, but I'm guessing that is a type of lettuce, especially lettuce.